that time of year again. The trees are blooming, the dogwoods are stinking, and here we are again. Where are the crappy at in the month of April? What's going on guys? I'm Steven Turner with Turner Fishing. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Uh, I invite you to join down below. Hit that subscribe button down below. We cover crappy fishing year round. So the month of April can be a very, very productive month, but it can also be one of those months where you'll have days you're like, what the heck are these fish doing? Because, I mean, believe it or not, last week I was catching post-spawn fish in 40 to 50 foot of water, and, I mean, they were just completely spawned out. It was a very weird thing for me this time of year because the water temperatures are barely 62 63 we've had a couple cold mornings and they brought the water temperature right back down so we just want to stop interject this video right now we've got let me close this light we've got a table full of spring starter kits so they're they're on the website they're ready to go Go grab you one. It'll support me, my wife, and my five kids. You know, jig tail's slowing down this time of year, so I'm getting to the point where we got to do something drastic, and we don't want to do that. So go grab you a starter kit, or just grab you some OGs because they're biting the crap out of them right now. So go grab them. Uh, membership down below is two dollars a month. It would greatly appreciate every single one of you. Now go learn how to catch them in April. So at the beginning of the month, you know, this first couple of weeks, honestly, if you want to catch a lot of fish, I would still focus shallow. Uh, 10 to 0. You know, if you want to fish for males, fish up on the bank. There are going to be a couple females laying around out there in the creek channel waiting to move up. But the majority of your bigger fish are going to be, you know, in that cycle. And when I talk about a cycle, I've said this before on past videos, you're going to have pre-spawn spawn and post-spawn fish all in a cycle in whatever major creek arm that you're fishing or you know major river run or whatever whatever your lake may be you know every lake is kind of different but the majority of lakes have creeks and you know the majority of crap you're going to go up the creek to spawn so what you really want to focus on in the month of april probably from 62 to 75 ish degree water temperatures if you want to catch the bigger fish now there's not going to be a lot in one area so you're going to have to move a lot you know it's not going to be drop trolling motor i'm going to find 20 fish which is the limit here in south carolina i'm going to find 20 fish in this one area that are you know in my opinion big enough to keep but you know there, there could be a lot of fish in one area but to find the bigger ones, you're going to have to move from creek to creek to creek to creek. Brush pile to brush pile, uh, bridge to bridge, lay down to lay down, etc. Like It's not going to be a, a one and done type of deal. That, that, that day's coming. You know, that, the water temperature gets up in the 70s. You're going to start finding them on brush. You're going to start finding them stacked up on bridges and stuff. And that's when it kind of gets a little bit easier to go out there, spot lock down, cast out a brush pile cast out a bridge and catch your limit but this time of year you still need to be focusing on you know beating the bank a little bit if you want to go have fun with a cork or using your long jig pole to fish lay downs and stuff but if that is not just working for you just come off a little bit five to ten feet of water look for your lay downs look for your uh your deeper banks in your creek channels those lay downs normally have a couple fish on it you're gonna have to poke around a little bit like if you don't if you're not using forward facing sonar it's best to just hit every piece of structure that you can you know fish it all the way to the bottom if you're fishing a lay down fish it from the trunk all the way to the top all the way i mean you got to go order you some jig heads at crappymanjigs.com and you know because you're going to lose a lot it's just inevitable you're going to lose a lot of jig heads doing this but focus on those types of structures in those creek channels because you're going to have spawning pockets and where those spawning pockets are which a spawning pocket is you know a flat got good bottom and you know kind of protected from the wind north wind whatever 
you want to find those spawning pockets and then find structure on the way out of that spawning pocket. Because the way these females are set up is they're going to go in these spawning pockets, they're going to drop their eggs overnight. I mean, you're not going to find that female up there. You, you, I mean, if you do, you you a lucky son of a gun. That's all I'm going to say. But you want to focus on where they would spawn. You find that. And then you want to come out and find that brush pile. Find that stump. Find that lay down. And you just want to backtrack out of that creek until you figure out what area the bigger fish are in. Now, does this take time? Yeah, this is this kind of month going into the hotter summer pattern is a lot of uh i don't even know how to put this it's a lot of moving like like kind of what i said at the beginning of the video you're not going to hit the nail on the head 90 percent of the time and if you do i mean you you know your your lake very very well but even on murray i sometimes struggle finding that right thing but once i do it clicks in my mind of what i need to be doing if I go and I, you know, backtrack from that spawning pocket, all right, I caught a big fish off a brush pile in eight feet of water. The brush is four feet high, so half the water column. All right, so now I'm going to run 12 to eight feet brush piles. And knowing where these brush piles are are kind of key. So if you're at a new area of, of your lake, you may, you know, have to side scan around a little bit, figure out, you know, where that structure is because there's not going to be a bunch of big fish stacked up in one spot now like i said last week i did find a couple stacked up in one spot but it, it was a, a, a weird phenomenal and they were all spawned out like they were 12 12 inch fish with no gut probably weighed a pound 20 maybe but oh but the month of april you want to watch your water temperature the fish will spawn in i mean you could catch fish off the bank until 75 degree water temperature that's just how it rolls people think they all spawn 60 to 65 no they, the males will be up there protecting the fry protecting the eggs whatever for a couple weeks and those are the easiest fish to catch in a lake if you can find them they if you hit them on the head with a jig they're gonna bite so month of april focus on backtracking from those spawning areas if you've caught some fish up there shallow before if you just come from that area and slowly make your way back out i mean when i say that you know some creeks are a couple miles long you may have to go spawning area here go a whole half a mile here hit this brush pile and that's where the fish are or if they're not there you know quarter mile another quarter mile until you figure out, you know, what area. They could be up under that dock over there on the corner. They could be, it's, you've got to put the time on the water. The biggest thing in crappy fishing, other than boat control, in my opinion, is time on the water. You know, if I go to a new lake, half my day is going to be spent trying to find structure. Unless, you know, I roll up on the bridge and they're there and i'm like oh well, here we go we ain't gotta go nowhere else i just catch them off this bridge but <laughs> but like if i go to lake hartwell or something there's hundreds and hundreds of docks i've never fished and you've got to put the time on that big motor to figure out where the fish are so month of april backtrack from the month of march you know, if you haven't watched that video, go watch that video where we cover the month of March. But you want to go to that spawning pocket and backtrack to find those bigger fish. If you want to catch the, you know, males, 10 to 12 inch males, keep throwing that cork up shallow. And it's a fun day whether you catch them or not because the bluegills are coming up and you'll still be catching fish if you're throwing a cork. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you go grab a spring starter kit. It really, really, really would support the channel. Uh, jig sales are s slowing down a little bit, so got to get this ball rolling. But I appreciate every single one of you.